This is a magic today, we're gonna see what we're gonna get. Some mature trams box, so we're gonna see what we're gonna get. It's very thick vegetation here. Um, we can only see about 30 to 50 meters, about 80 yards. started we found some eland tracks as well the problem is the wind is now blowing across our face so we're gonna go around
We stopped to rest now. We found some manure. It's definitely red hot beast or South African Oryx Gemsbok manure. So we are on our way. Um, we stop here to rest a bit. Um, I have my shooting stick with me as well as my uh, 308 Seiko. Found some Elan tracks and uh, as well as uh, Gemsbok tracks. At this stage, uh, it's very hot. Hopefully, we spot something to, to track something. The wind is not in our favor, the wind is not on this side blowing to the right side. So, we're gonna go around and then take the wind right on, and then we're gonna see if we can find some animals. At this stage, we are looking for mature animals. It can be anything from a eland, a mature eland, or mature hemsbok. That's uh, the South African oryx. We're going to use this shooting sticks today. It's the Rudolf shooting sticks. It's actually a, it has a back end as well where you can rest your back end. It's about three o'clock now, so we're gonna hopefully stalk some Gemsbok, Eland, or Red Hot Beast. We found some Gemsbok tracks, so we're on the track here. Hopefully, we can find them. There's a gemsbok in front of us, there's a few blue wildebeest on our left, but uh, we don't want to spook them, so we're crawling here through the grass. It's very thick vegetation here. It's almost five o'clock, but there's a gemsbok just behind the corner there. So we're going to go through here and see what we're going to get. We're going to go very slow and very quiet. Anyway. We just uh, shot a gemsbok, it's a South African oryx, so we're just going to give it some time. We're going to give it about five minutes and then we're going to go and see uh, if we're going if we're going to find it. I'm shaking at this stage. We found the blue wildebeest on our left hand side and a few impalas and a few red hot beasts um, on our right hand side and then all of a sudden we saw a gemsbok, a South African oryx, so we're gonna, hopefully we got it. I uh, got a clean a shot. The grass is very long. It's thick vegetation. We saw the blue wildebeest on our left hand side and the red wildebeest on our right. And there was all of a sudden a, a gemsbok. We got a clean shot. So hopefully we're going to find it. You guys can see um, it's getting dark already. <laughs> but um, we got a clean shot on this oryx so let's see if we can find it oh we just placed a shot on the oryx so we're gonna see if we're gonna find it it's getting dark already so hopefully we can find it before dark we placed a very nice shot on it We started walking from 2 o'clock this afternoon, it's about 5 p.m. now and uh, yeah, we got this oryx, um, let's go and see uh, where we shot it, quite an hunt, a small blood trail but not that much, but uh, let's see, it's about 50 meters in, yes, yay, the South African oryx is 40 inches 
that is the Roland Ward. This is a fantastic animal that we have harvested. This animal will go a long way. We'll quickly do the measurements. The measurement on this South African Oryx is 33 inches. We actually spooked some blue wildebeest and red wildebeest, but uh, we maintained our course and there was about two Oryxes, Gemsbok, that stood straight in front of us and about uh, 80 meters, about 100 yards, and we took the shot. So, yeah, it went down in about 50 yards, about uh, 30 meters, that we harvested here in South Africa on Ouk Farm in the Limpopo province. The IUCN lists the Gemsbok as the least concern, so we maintain the population by only harvesting the mature animals. So we have harvested a mature cow. One interesting fact about Gemsbok is basically that the cows, the big cows, they lead the herd and not the big bulls. The cows have long, thinner horns than the bulls. The bulls have thicker horns with a strong and thick boss or base down the horn. The lifespan of a South African Oryx is about 20 years of age. This means um, that the mature animals is only mature between 15 and 20 years of age. So we were looking for a very old cow. You guys can see this is a very old cow. There is almost no teeth and the body condition is very good. It's a very big cow. Yeah, we shot a uh, South African Oryx. We are very happy. We started the hunt this afternoon. Uh, this is a fantastic animal, beautiful animal. This is a great animal. Look at his long horns. This is really fantastic. We shot this animal with my trusty uh, Seiko 308. Um, I used the Barnes 168 grains TTSX bullet. This is really a fantastic experience. This is really a beautiful animal. Uh, I captured it with my trigger cam 2.0. Gemsbok meat is known for its mild, lean and flavorful characteristics. It is often described as similar to beef, but with a slightly sweeter and gamier taste. The back strap is a tender and highly desirable cut, similar to the beef tenderloin. We're going to divide this uh, meat between our family. It's about 5 p.m. now. One is going down. Fantastic view. We just harvested this fantastic Gemsbok. Fantastic view, fantastic feeling. We're going to end the day off today in the bush. We have a great shot placement on a Gemsbok. We harvested a great and big mature Gemsbok cow. So we're going to go back to camp and enjoy a nice campfire. And we're going to put some meat on the braai and celebrate the fantastic day that we had today. Beautiful sunset in this beautiful bushveld region in the Limpopo province of South Africa. There were some other colleagues also in the field today. We heard one or two shots. So hopefully they landed or placed uh, a few shots on also wildebeest or red heart beast or Impala. We'll see at camp today what we have harvested.
guys, welcome to the channel again. Had some success yesterday with a nice games buck. It was a proper shot. So uh, today we're probably going to have some Impala, maybe some Zebra, but you never know. So stay tuned. We're going to start on today. We're going to look for some zebra impala or waterbuck so i'm walking with stefan today so we're gonna see what we're gonna get we don't want trophies but um any mature animal will do today Beautiful morning, beautiful bushveld setting here. So we started a hunt, we're on the tracks here, we found some water bark tracks. But Looking for tracks. It's very difficult. <clears throat> it's very difficult. You can only see about 50 meters in front of you. So myself and Stephen are looking for a zebra or waterbuck or impala or kudu. some water bark uh, but uh, tough through the thickets but we're on the trail now so let's see maybe we can get some we found some water bark again but um, they were very close but we spooked them again um, the vegetation is very very thick so we're really trying to be quiet See if we can find some water buck cows. I 
not another maybe mile and a half that we're gonna walk before we take lunch so hopefully in this next mile and a half we're gonna get something but it's very thick very thick vegetation No, it's a tough day, a uh, couple of encounters, but still no luck, but yeah, looking at tracks, and uh, maybe we can get something. Just arrived at camp we're gonna quickly uh, eat something before we go out again had a, actually a very successful morning uh, the other teams bagged uh, eland as well as an impala so it was definitely a successful hunt this morning Beautiful Bosfeld area. Beautiful sunny day today. Close call with a couple of waterbuck cows, but no luck. So we'll keep trying. Got some spoor here, so maybe let's see. Um, we are now on the track. 
tracks of uh, a few zebra, but now well, let's see what we're gonna get. Um, it has been a difficult afternoon, three hours of hiking uh, through very thick vegetation. This is the first time you guys can see behind me. It's a bit of open area, a bit of an open grassland area. Um, but this property is very big, so hopefully we find some animals before we go to camp. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, well done. Yes. Very happy, Stefan LaRue, yeah, very happy guy. <laughs> it was a uh, maybe 130, 140 meters. So very happy with the shot. Nice impala ram. Very happy. So we got a nice impala ram here. Worked a bit for him. All day tracking, going through the thickets. Finally found him just opposite the river. Just through the, the bushes. Our guy Jerry spotted it. Laid up, took the, the sticks, put it on. Took the shot. Nice uh, neck shot. Not a much, not uh, a lot of meat that's going to be, be wasted, but our day's work paying off. So we're going to have some nice bultong, maybe a bit of horse patties. As you can see here, yeah, some nice secondary growth here. Yeah, so it means it's a nice matured adult. And that's why we aren't to make sure that the population stays in place. Thanks, Jerry. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks. Hard work pays off. We're heading back to camp. Uh, it was a very long day, uh, fantastic day. At the end, just about five o'clock, we came across impalas and we shot a mature impala ram. So, fantastic day, fantastic shot by Stefan. The other team, Spit and Hendrik, also shot an impala and a water buck. So, fantastic day. Let's see what the evening entails.
is day three. Had a nice uh, couple of days, nice uh, antelope that we got. At day three, so we're gonna stalk some, hopefully some kudu, or water bark, or luckily, if we are lucky, some zebra. So. start following the zebra tracks early morning So a few pigs just run off, a few warthogs, but um, they are very big warthogs. We were on that trail for about 10 minutes, but yeah, they evaded us. Already two hours in, we uh, saw a couple of war talks, but yeah, well, they didn't give us a chance to shoot one kudu bull, but not mature. So we're still looking for zebra or anything smaller, but a mature animal. Hopefully, we'll be lucky today. Looking for a mature impala ram as well as maybe a zebra water buck, but we're going to see what we're going to find. Just take a snack or two, just to rehydrate again. And then we'll be on our way.
a long walk. So uh, see what what's coming into the drink. Stefan just placed a shot on the Impala, Impala Ram, Mature Ram. So if you're going to quickly see if we're going to get it. It's about 150 yards. Oh, we found the first drop of blood. Beautiful Mature Ram. Yeah. Fantastic shot, Stefan. Fantastic shot. Nice. Double long shot. Very proud. But two, so you get the dead center. Three and a half inches. Oh, well done, Stefan. We walked into a watering hole. All of a the sudden, there was an Impala ram about 100 meters away. Fantastic shot. We measured it. What was the inches? 23 and a half, and the other one 23 inches. Yeah, fantastic set of horns. You can see the second hand growth here at the bottom. Um, this is definitely a mature. To Impala. No, Congratulations! Thanks. Arriving back at camp, myself and Stefan bagged the trophy in Impala. Well done, Stefan. Let's go and eat some brunch. Redelijk ver. We're gonna have some patties, some breakfast patties, as well as some wash, eggs, and some bread. Yeah, yeah. 